what's going on youtube today we're gonna make a video on my setup we're gonna see what I, i'm gonna show you guys what i use um what i use for streaming a bit of stuff that i have on my setup and uh and i'll show you guys what i want to improve and let's get to it man let's do it come on all right so we're gonna start with the jbl 5 flip 5 this was actually given to me by my dad and I just use this when I'm like, let's say I'm working on like content or just editing or messing with Photoshop and stuff like that. I just use it to jam out, you know? Uh, this is my PS4 controller um, uh, with the back button, PlayStation back button. It's been a while since I've used this to be honest with you. Ever since I, um, I switched to PC, it's it's crazy, man. It's It's been a journey. Um, next, I have my Razer case. This is the Razer Wolverine Ultimate case. Um, and I have the controller I'll show you guys here in a bit, but it comes with um, the thumbsticks, I believe. It comes with two different thumbsticks and it comes with a D-pad. Uh, it's an Xbox controller, so. It's definitely, I definitely recommend it if you're trying to go PC wired. If you're trying to be a little competitive and stuff like that, it's definitely worth worth the price. I think it's, I believe it's like 160 something, but I definitely recommend it. It's it's a good brand. I love Wolverine um, controllers; they're real good. My AirPod case. Um, this is my Nintendo Switch. I don't really use it all that much. It's more for like looks and just on my setup, my wallet, uh, my devotional. Uh, this is my Bible. <laughs> I should be reading it every day, but I don't. And we'll switch on to the main thing, the best one you guys want to see. Next, we're going to move on to the Echo Dot. I don't remember which generation it is, but I just got this for Christmas not too long ago. And I just use it for, for like study sessions or whatever, stuff like that, just to jam out. I put on some beats, instrumentals, stuff like that, you know? This is my Asus VG279, 144Hz, Full HD, 1080p uh, monitor. It's pretty good. I'm not going to lie to you guys. If you guys are into like 1080p gaming, this is definitely it. Especially if you're trying to use the full 144Hz and the one millisecond, it's definitely worth it. Um, this is my streaming cam. I believe it's called the Unzano 1080p. The only thing I don't like about it is that it's 30 FPS. So like quality isn't like the greatest, greatest move motion wise. So it's, I mean, it gets the job done, you know? Uh, moving on to my keyboard here. This is the G413. It's um, it's an older version of like the Logitech keyboard, mechanical keyboards, but I gotta be honest, for, for what it's worth, it's actually been good to me. It serves me pretty good. I recently just started playing on it a bit more, um, trying to learn Call of Duty Warzone and stuff like that, just to get better at it, you know? Uh, moving on to my mouse. This is a Logitech G502. Uh, it comes with a good amount of buttons. I gotta be honest, this mouse is real good. I wanna upgrade to the I wanna upgrade to the wireless, um, but for now, I guess the wire is gonna have to do. Especially my keyboard, I do want to get a keyboard that's more wireless. That way, it's a bit more better, you know. Um, it's more convenient for me, to be honest with you. I hate dealing with cables, as you guys can see. My cable management isn't the best, but uh, before I started streaming, I used to just play on on my PlayStation 4. I recently, uh, in December, I just switched to PC. As you guys can see, I'll give you the full specs in a moment. But I started out on my PS4, and it sucked, man. I gotta be honest, it sucked. Because you're very limited when you're on PS4. And you can't really, you can create content, don't get me wrong, you can edit videos and everything, it's just, it's not the same as you would on a PC, you know? Uh, but I got my hard drive here as well, it's two terabytes, definitely worth it if you're still on PS4. 
I mean, I love my PS4. Don't even remember. That's why I haven't gotten rid of it. But it's definitely later on if you know if you plan on switching, it's definitely worth it. But always remember where you came from, guys. Uh, this is my little. I think it's like an LED little light. Um, sometimes I use it for streaming to give me a little more light on my face to add more color and stuff like that. That way I won't be in the darkness. This is the Razer Ultimate. Razer Wolverine Ultimate. This controller, guys, I have to tell you, I have no complaints with it. Um, I've seen a few reviews where people were saying a few things about it, but nothing too life-threatening, I guess you can say. But this controller is definitely worth it. I like it. Um, the joysticks are definitely worth it. I love it. Um, I, I mainly use it for like Warzone, Rebirth, and stuff like that. D-pad, it's all right. It's not too bad. Uh, it has the four paddles on the back. I have to say it's a pain in the ass to get used to this, to this um, setup of like buttons and stuff. It's definitely different from like the Xbox Series Elite uh, 2. It's definitely way different. Um, I love the trigger stoppers. These things are amazing. Um, all the buttons, everything, I just love it. It has that click sound freaking love it and the only downside to this controller really is it being wired and I connect it to my PC here and eh, I mean it's not too bad for what you're paying for it's not too bad but if you're more into like something a little more wireless I guess something like a scuff or Xbox Elite Series 2 which I personally don't like. I've never had one, but I've seen a lot of reviews on it and it seems like it's not the best choice to go with. But uh, moving on to my PC, this is the Legion, uh, uh, sorry, Lenovo Legion T5. It comes with a 3060 GPU. Uh, I, ha I believe it has one, two, three, like four fans. <clears throat> It has a, it's really decent. I, I have to say for what I paid for, it wasn't that bad. I guess I did pay a little overpriced, but um, to be honest, I did pay for what I got, what I paid for, you know, it's not too bad. Honestly, it has RGB lighting. I'll turn it on in a bit for you guys to see. Uh, it has two front fans and it's, it has, 16 gigabytes of RAM uh, has 512 gigabytes of storage of SSD, one terabyte of HDD um, of hard drive, and it's not bad. It's, it's it's a powerhouse, man. I like it. Moving on to my headset. This headset, guys. This is an old headset. This is a Steel Series Arctis One, and it's somewhat wireless i guess you can say it comes with a dongle and you ha have to connect it to your, either your pc or playstation 4 and it's not bad i for warzone i have i kind of have to upgrade a little bit it's it's an older version i've had this for about a year it's lasted me while it has while i've had it and uh, it's not bad <clears throat> cable management uh I have to say it's it's been the worst but i'm kind of proud of where it is right now this is not the best but it definitely looks much better than what i used to have it it was pretty bad guys and the way i connect all everything my monitor my pc and everything i ha actually have um this thing this power power brick thingy and it just keeps everything connected i got usb hubs here i got like five of them there five or four but um it serves its purpose i have my little tray where i keep some of my wires there and uh, it's it's a bit of a mess but i try and keep it clean you know? uh that's where i have my router my modem i use that card i had bought that card for my pc to put it on the floor but I tried it for a, for a few weeks and I didn't like it. So I ended up putting my PC back on my desk 
and I have to say it looks much better um so I ended up getting this cart and so now I just use it for my modem and my router and then I like it I like where it's at <clears throat> Uh, let me see and this desk the desk in general i bought this on amazon for a, the time that i bought it it was like maybe 90 almost like 100 bucks now i believe it sells for 140 maybe 120 uh, it's a 55 inch uh by T I think it's by test or by tees v test or something like that and it comes with a large mouse pad uh, I don't like the mouse pad, I'll be honest with you. It gets dirty real quick, but for what I paid for, I, it, I think it's it's pretty good. It serves its purpose. I like it because I have a lot of room for what I need it for. I eventually want to, I do want to get uh, a second monitor. I may do 165 hertz, one millisecond, or I just might go with a 1440p, 240 uh 1440p um 144 hertz monitor so in the meantime i'm just rocking with one monitor and one pc i don't plan on doing dual uh a dual pc setup uh there's too many cables and i don't know i, I don't have the mind and patience for it you know? i do have uh go v lights go v led lights strip lights and i have them on my I'll be honest, I didn't have enough to put like around my room and everything, but it it's decent, you know. I, I still have a lot to work on my setup, but I just wanted to give you guys a quick rundown of what I had, and I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Um, and you guys have a good day, stay blessed, and yeah, have a good one, guys. guys well thank you for tuning in i hope you guys enjoyed the video i hope you guys like the setup um let me know some feedback i would love some feedback um i truly appreciate the feedback as well um like i said before there's a lot of stuff that i want to improve um i definitely want to get a new chair uh a new desk eventually um and just future proof everything um and yeah, man. I hope you guys enjoyed it and let me know your thoughts, advice, what you guys think I should work on. Let me know. All right. You guys have a good one and stay blessed. See ya. Peace. Oh, and wait, 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 wait. Like, comment, and subscribe. Thank you guys. <laughs>